Registered Phenomena Code 320 Object Class Gamma Orange Hazard Types Sapient Hazard Transmutation Hazard Ontological Hazard Teleportation Hazard Containment Protocols The area in and surrounding the suburban areas of Wisconsin is to be combed weekly by MST Romeo 06 City Sweepers, with priority given the neighborhoods in which RPC-320 has been known to manifest frequently. These searches are to happen every Monday at 3.20 am Eastern. If at any time MST personnel encounter milk jars in front of a home, it must be assumed to be a byproduct of RPC-320, and sent to Site-002 for safe storage through a secure, authority-run channel. If any cows or cow-like people are found in the area, they are to be assumed to be an instance of RPC-320-1 and placed in an area in which they can be collected by RPC-320 without incident. In the case that individuals or news outlets spread information pertaining to a sighting of RPC-320, or any reports of cow people, X-ray-6 annulifiers is to be deployed to silence any persons involved and relay the information to city sweepers. Utilizing this information, city sweepers must search for and collect the rumored RPC-320-1 instance. In the case of RPC-320 becoming aggressive towards city sweepers, Permission is granted to terminate RPC-320 at the Force's own discretion. Once this is done, weekly patrols for milk cartons for the next three weeks are unnecessary. Under no circumstances are Site-002 personnel to ever to conduct tests in which an instance of RPC-320-1 is created purposely or transferred from Wisconsin. See Addendum B. Description. RPC-320 is a tall, featureless, pale humanoid wearing attire reminiscent of a 1950s American milkman, and displays abilities indicative of either teleportation or dematerialization. Manifestation most frequently takes place in suburban neighborhoods. Once this happens, RPC-320 will appear from an area or space not currently in view by any organisms carrying a carton of milk jars in either hand and deposited them onto a nearby doorstep. Currently it is believed these deliveries happen at a consistent schedule, which is Monday every week at 3.20 am Eastern, with a one or two hour margin of error. Upon completing this task, RPC-320 will walk to an area currently not in view and disappear a minute after materializing. Due to the effectiveness in recent times by city sweepers in stopping normal citizenry from consuming the milk. RPC-320 has become increasingly more agitated and has been making deliveries in greater quantity. The subject has been observed to remain visible and tangible for nearly 30 minutes at a time. Various dash cams and home security systems have recorded this and have been confiscated and wiped by authority personnel. The anomaly is now considered a gamma type. The subject has now started occasionally materializing and attacking MST personnel who tampered with the milk cartons and has been temporarily killed multiple times by gunfire. Upon being killed, the subject turns into a white liquid which quickly seeps into the ground before it can be collected. The death of RPC-320 has shown the halt of manifestation of milk cartons for a minimum period of one month. However, once they are tampered with again, the aggression has a higher chance to persist the preceding time City Sweeper displaces said cartons again. This anomaly has not been known to occur outside Wisconsin. In all cases observed, RPC-320 deposits milk jars onto the doorsteps of homes currently vacant. Analysis of the milk deposited by RPC-320 when compared to its non-anomalous counterpart has revealed no major physical, visual, or chemical changes that could explain its anomalous effects. However, it is notable that RPC-320's milk, in particular, doesn't spoil. RPC-320-1 Transformation Once the milk deposited by RPC-320 is drunk, a process in the drinker's body will begin. Over the ensuing days, usually up to a week, the victim will start to display abnormal cravings for lawn clippings and salt. Their physical alteration to a milk cow ensues over the next 30 to 40 days. At approximately the tenth day after drinking the substance, 
The victim now visibly has cow-like traits such as an upturned nose, abnormally shaped ears, and enlarged pupils. At this stage of transformation, the subject is considered an instance of RPC-320-1. During the second week of transformation, more drastic changes will occur. All body hair currently on the subject will turn brown or a piebald coloration. During the third week of transformation, subjects display decreased cognitive capacity and have their limbs become stiff and change in proportion. Eventually this leads to the subject having to walk on all four appendages. During the fourth week of transformation, progress into what appears to be a cow is more apparent. The bone structure of the hands and feet begin to fuse and harden so that they resemble cloven hooves. Rapid hair growth takes place. Subjects during this time are incapable of seeking medical help due to complete loss of sapience. After a month, the subject is completely turned into either a brown or piebald milk cow. At this point in time, RPC-320 will become active and manifest near the instance of RPC-320-1 with a lead in hand. If there are any obstructions or hindrances, such as personnel or doors, RPC-320 will display immense strength and do what is necessary to reach RPC-320-1. See Addendum RPC-320-B Once RPC-320 has put the lead around the neck of RPC-320-1, they will both move into an area where they are unable to be viewed before disappearing. Once this process is finished, RPC-320 will begin to deliver with a greater amount of milk cartons. Currently at the time of updating, RPC-320 delivers 23 cartons of milk per weekly delivery. It has currently been determined that it is in the best interest of the Authority to turn over any instance of RPC-320-1 already infected, as it seems this has been effective at temporarily stopping the attacks on MST personnel confiscating cartons of milk placed by RPC-320. However, the deliveries are bigger in quantity and harder to confiscate the more times this happens. Addendum A Incident Report RPC-320 No. 1 On March 2, 2004, RPC-320 showed aggression towards MST RAT-06 city sweepers for the first time. According to MST personnel, RPC-320 appeared from behind a corner and flung at MST personnel which was in the process of confiscating its milk jars from a doorstep into a wall. The agent died instantly from the impact. The force reportedly fired on the anomaly until eventually it dissolved into a white substance and disappeared into the ground. Update. As of April 2, 2004, after three weeks of no milk jars being found, RPC-320 has started manifesting and depositing milk jars again. The attacks still persist occasionally. Addendum B Incident Report RPC-320 No. 2 on May 4, 2005, Authority personnel requested a MST RAT-06 city sweepers transport a fully transformed instance of RPC-320-1 to an area outside of Wisconsin where it could be transported to site for testing. Several hours after leaving the boundary of Wisconsin, the vehicle which was transporting RPC-320-1 was attacked. Two personnel were fatally wounded and three were critically injured. The RPC-320-1 instance was taken behind a vehicle out of view by RPC-320 before they both disappeared. For the month preceding this incident, attacks by RPC-320 had not manifested while MST Romeo-06 was confiscating its milk jars.